Hey guys, thanks for checking out Down of All Trades. I got a good show for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to print my own Skull Work t-shirts. All right, you guys ready? Let's go check it out. All right, so first things first, I want to pick up my shirt. I'm going to pick up the same shirt I'm kind of wearing right now. Okay, it's a black shirt. We're going to do it with the white ink. We're going to do the white ink front, and we're going to do a white ink background. Okay? All right. Just picked this up at Walmart. It's like a $4 shirt, something like that, so it's really not that expensive. Got to prep it. Take the tag off. First thing you want to do is you want to find the center. Okay? You would think that just uh, going right down the center would work. Nope. Because each shirt is made a little bit different. They're not exactly symmetrical. So you take the corners and hold them together. I pull up in the center. Shake it a little bit. On my center. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the press for, I don't know, less than five seconds. I'm going to lay it on the press. Make sure there's no wrinkles. going to be a couple just because the way it's laying across on the shoulders but we don't press the shoulders so it's no big deal and I'm going to press it for about five seconds and I got my center there's your center crease on the back center crease on the front and by doing that I took the moisture out of the shirt and took the moisture out of the pad itself okay we want the moisture out of this out of the pad itself in case there's any moisture in there else the pattern won't stay on the shirt very well want the shirt as flat as possible so I'm going to do the front first I got my pattern as you can hold up to the light when I lay it on the shirt that's how it's going to look what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold right at the top and the bottom to not interfere with the graphic make sure that is the center of my pattern I usually go three fingers from the top so what I do is I line up the crease of the shirt the crease on my graphic or whatever I'm using double check triple check center and for this pattern I'm going to hold it for 10 seconds Sometimes it pops up. We'll do what's called a hot peel. Peel it real quick. And there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool off, and then we're going to do the back side. Alright, so I let the shirt cool down a little bit. So what I also did is I also put down a, a layer in between the front and the back shirt. It's just a thick piece of paper. That's all it is. Construction paper. I'm gonna make sure that my shirt is as flat as possible. I already got my crease from when I first did the press. I'm going to do the back side. Once again, I'm going to just uh, fold in half and I crease the top and the bottom. I make sure that I got it lined up correctly. Now, what I do with this one is I line it up about 
three fingers from the top of the collar on the front side. So I can feel the front of the collar. So I'm gonna feel three fingers down from that, line up my creases, the crease on the shirt, the crease on the pattern. Then I also have another set right side and this one you can put anywhere you want that's all I'm gonna just put one finger below the main graphic does is this actually locks in place when it counts down it releases and peel it off I'm going to take out my construction paper I got front and I got back. Now I'm going to do this with another shirt with a different style pattern. Okay. So I'm going to try this new pattern here. It's a skull with the American flag on it, as you can see, if you can see that very good. Okay. I already did my crease here, I already did the press on my shirt halfway okay so now I'm just gonna turn it over measure it three fingers down from the top of the collar I'm putting this on a tank top all right so instructions say to put the heat press at 390 I have it set at 400 timer set at 15 seconds so I'm gonna put it down and press it. Hopefully it turns out well. And I believe, if I read this correctly, this is another hot peel. Yep. So, let's see what we got. The shirt's a little thick, so I'm gonna hold, out, hold down the press a little bit. Let's do a hot peel on that. I like that. I'm by no means a professional shirt presser. You know, I do this for fun. I print them as needed. Obviously, I don't sell a whole lot of t-shirts. So I don't like, like to carry a whole lot of stock. So what I'll do is if a customer says, hey, I want a Skull Work t-shirt, I can go, hey, I'll have one for you in a couple days or I'll have one for you tomorrow. Print it up, they can come pick it up or I mail it to them and it's a done deal just like that. It's, real, it's really that simple. Um, t-shirts are relatively cheap. You can get a Michaels, Joann's, Walmart, depending on what you want. And they can print on almost anything, any material. You can print on pillowcases if you want to, things like that, which are really neat. Uh, you can go on totally a um, whole bunch of different websites, uh, get them custom made. You can get ones that are already made and print them on whatever you want. Anyways, I hope you like this video. It's real quick, real short. Um, no frills or, or spills. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Like the video, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for checking out Don of All Trades.